Ooh. 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 It's just a day full of woos, apparently. Anyways, what's up, guys? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hey, what's good? So, I put on my Instagram the other day a fabulous photograph right here of some DIY jeans that I was making that were inspired by, um, actually, one of my really good friends, Roxy, had reposted Gigi Hadid's photo um, on Instagram, and I was like, <gasps> literally screamed. They were so beautiful, like, <gasps> Look at these, they're like covered in pearls, oh my god. Um, and that's Zane's hand there, by the way, but anyways, no one cares. Um, so, of course, in my usual style, I decided I had to have them, so it was DIY time. So, we're stealing Gigi's style today, and we're taking it to a whole nother level of extra today. So here is my version of the crystal I don't even know, crystal pearl Gigi Hadid jeans. Ooh, sorry, I just can't stop shaking my hair. It's so fun, I love wearing mane. All right, anyways, to the craft. And now you've got yourself something funky. Alrighty, so we're shaking things up. We're gonna do this in my living room because my room is too hot. I don't have air conditioning, anyways, whatever. So this is what you're going to need for this project. Um, I'm not even sure how I'm gonna use all this yet, but first things first, obviously you need a pair of jeans. I actually got these at uh, Love Culture, I think, for like $19. So some ripped jeans is all you're going to need. Then of course we're gonna need the decorations. Um, I got some like little pearl necklaces downtown. Um, I got some little crystally chains. I got some lace just because I don't know I liked it. Um, some needle, some thread, and of course it wouldn't be an Ambershol DIY without my trusty E6000 glue. I even got some different kind today, fabric fuse. So I'm gonna try that. I don't know. I've never used it before, but I'm sure it's fabulous. And that is all we're going to need to get started. So first things first, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the jeans on just because I clothes, you know, look different when they're on you. Um, yes, I am just sitting on my table. Don't tell my roommates, they would kill me, but secret's safe with you guys, right? Anyways, <laughs> let's get to decorating. All right, so basically the gist of this is I'm gonna wanna interlace the pearls with the little rips and tears in the jeans. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this, sorry, the string of my camera's in the way. Let me move that. Anyways, professional. So um, I'm gonna wanna take these and like I said, interlace them in. So I think what I'm gonna do, you can see they're just like little necklaces that I got. Um, I'm going to kind of tuck them in like this. You see that kind of, I just tucked it underneath like this and I'm gonna go ahead and sew those two pieces to tack it in so then it stays put. So of course we're gonna go ahead and thread the needle. Do you guys ever think about how much time you waste threading needles in your lifetime? I mean, I'm sure it's not any longer than like five total minutes, but I was thinking about that the other day and it was irritating me nonetheless. Anyways, so once you went ahead and tucked the pearls in, just kind of sew like you normally would over, under, over, under until the pearls are totally tacked onto the jean. Like you can see here, tug on them, they are totally attached. Then you can go ahead, just trim off the string and you are good to go. Alrighty, so then you can see once you've done kind of all of the little holes with those pearls, you can go ahead and get creative. Um, I also have skinnier rows of pearls and crystals, so you can't really see those, but let's see. Yes, ta-da! So the crystals and the skinnier pearls. You can start with whatever. You can just kind of design it again, add those on, sew those in, same thing. Now that all of the layers of pearls are done, I'm gonna go ahead and take the crystals, and you can see those look great. I'm just gonna drape those kind of wherever. I'm not entirely sure where, but we'll figure it out. So for the crystals, what you're gonna wanna do is kind of tie a little knot and put the head of the crystal chain inside of it and pull it tight so it kind of extends the length of the chain and will be good for sewing. So you can see I'm kind of doing that here. And you can see like that, it has now extended the length of the chain and is just conjoined like so. Ha ha ha, like so, get it? Punny. Anyways, so then you're just gonna go ahead and tack that in and sew it back and forth until that is also fully attached. Alrighty, 70,000 hours later, you can see they are all jazzed up. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead. I happen to not really love the bottoms of these, so I got some lace. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, something like this or something to make it a little extra glam. So you can see here the bottom's just a little fringy. I'm just gonna literally wrap the fabric around, go ahead and see how that looks, give it a quick little trim so I don't have to have like tons of extra fabric. And then I will just sew that on to the bottom of the jean until it is all attached. <laughs> 
So that step is obviously optional. I just thought it would, you know, make them a little cooler. So there we go, you guys, ta-da, 30,000 years later, because I hand sewed literally every single one of these, but they look so cool. So there we go, fashion show time. Ta-da! You can see the finished product. I'm not showing my face because I look literally crazy, but you can see I went ahead and added some lace on the top just to make them more of like a mid-rise look. Um, so stinking cute. The lace on the bottom is honestly, I think, my favorite part of the whole pants. Adorable! Then we've got this action, and they just look so stinking groovy. Ooh, literally so Instagrammy. Oh my god. So there we go. The finished product. Ta cha cha da cha da cha they look so good I'm living my best life so there you have it, you guys. That is my version of the Gigi Hadid jeans. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because, as always, I loved making it. Um, even though this one was like kind of haphazardly thrown together, thrown together, you can see even like my voice is like blah blah blah, and I'm like breaking out, so ugh, just a mess. But anyways, um, I don't even remember what I was saying, but I'm sure it was something along the lines of I love you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, all my socials are at Amber Schultz. You can hit me up on there, and I will see you guys next time. Kisses, my sweet, beautiful, now sparkly, pearlescent baby angels. <laughs> XO. And now you've got yourself something funky. Now that I got Gigi's style, all I need is Zane to complete my look. Hello, Zane? Are you out there? If you ever break up with Gigi, call me. No, I'm kidding. Harry has my heart, but I'm not, like, opposed. Anyways, my god, I'm gonna sign off before I, like... Bye, guys! <laughs>